Adam ate from a tree he wasn't supposed to. Because of you eating from that tree, you're a sinner and every child that you have will be born a sinner. You're, you're born a sinner now, this crazy concept. Kill him. Yeah, but I don't want you to just kill him. Torture him first. Allah forgave him. I'm from San Diego, like I mean, I'm yeah. family's from Pakistan, but I mean, I was raised out here. And if they say that Adam ate from a tree he wasn't supposed to, like I understand, okay, like let's say you're in Minnesota and there's a little shop and you know, some little kid walks in, you tell him, hey, don't, don't touch anything unless you pay for it, right? And he's like, you know what, I want that candy, right? So he, he's not supposed to take it, he takes it, puts it in his pocket, walks out. Right? So Adam eating from the apple when he, or, you know, according to the Christian, they say apple, but we have no evidence for that. But anyway, now when he comes out, let's say he wants to repent. Like he's like his parents find out or he tells them, hey, I'm, you know, I took this, I shouldn't have. So Adam wants to repent. He did something he shouldn't have done. He goes back to the store owner, God in this scenario, right? And says, you know what? I did something wrong. I want to repent. And the store owner tells him, no. Because of you eating from that tree, you're a sinner and every child that you have will be born a sinner. I, yeah. Like, 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 did you, when you were a baby, did you do anything wrong? So why were you a sinner? You were a baby, you were just born. How can you call, like if you see a little innocent child, like in Islam, we say that born is, that child is innocent. You can't even hold him accountable for his deeds until he hits an age where he knows right from wrong. You know that makes sense, right? No. Let's say you're, you're, you're born a sinner now, this crazy concept. But how are you going to get rid of that sin, right? So you're like, oh man, I'm going to be a sinner. All my kids are going to be sinners. Like, whoa, like, how do I, how do I fix this? So I was like, I got an idea. There's my son, really good kid, you know, perfect kid, perfect human being, lived a perfect life, never lied, never stole, straight A student, volunteers, helps people, kill him. You're like, wait, wait, you want me to kill your son? Yeah, 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 but I don't want you to just kill him. Torture him first, you know, put up thorns on his head, make him carry, you know, whatever gun you're going to kill him with, make him carry it. And then from then on, wear the little gun that you killed him with on your neck. <laughs> the crosses, right? Like, like, how does that make sense? How would killing God or the son of God or God himself or God and his son or whatever confusion there is, how would that cure sin? That should be a bigger sin than eating from a tree, right? Islam, we don't believe none of that. There is Adam, he was the first man, no doubt. Allah created him with his own hands. He did something as a mistake. Right? He made a mistake, he repented, Allah forgave him.